into the one third video log. It's uh, Tuesday the 12th of January, the big freeze is starting to fall, and uh, we're looking forward to uh, what could be quite an interesting week in uh, the online monetization world. Just a quick blog today, I received a phone call oh, yesterday from an old colleague. Uh, inquiring about uh, the differences between the European and UK affiliate markets. He has a client who works in the travel industry, which is trying to get away without doing post-impression tracking. Post-impression tracking, for those of you that don't know, is where an advert has appeared, but the user hasn't necessarily clicked on it. But that has still been uh, tracked through the impression, so that when somebody goes and goes to buy, it's been noted that they've actually been seen viewing the advert, and the commission is then awarded back to that publisher. This is great because it means that uh, merchants can advertise on very high volume websites like newspapers, Yahoo, whatever, and they will then actually will be rewarding people for sales which are generated. In the UK this is not as popular because uh, merchants quite rightly in my opinion see it as the way in which uh, publishers are gaining commission and payment for sales which have actually only been very, very marginal in creating. Uh, in the UK and in uh, the US and in other markets, purpose traffic is much more uh, the norm for generating affiliate sales. This could be through search, where people have actually been bidding and taking up search volume through taking the uh, uh, paid clicks, or through SEO, whereby the site has been optimized around specific terms relating to products, so it shows up in the natural search. Or what's been growing massively over the last couple of years are loyalty and incentive sites, where people are actually going to get some sort of reward for using them for purchasing. In Europe, yes, these sorts of sites do exist, but they're not as prevalent. Hence, the much greater impact of post impression tracking and the much greater reliance that publishers have on this. This is, uh, in some respects, good for the publishers and rewards for activities, uh, but it's almost like throwing mud up against the wall and seeing how much sticks. My own feeling is that the European model will, or market will, come to resemble the UK market sooner or later as uh, merchants have become much more keen to attribute sales which have actually been effectively generated, but we'll have to wait and see. This year I think we're going to see a lot of the fallout about uh, duplication and how, how sales are actually generated, and I look forward to bringing you more on that as we go along. Thank you for your time, and I look forward to speaking to you soon.